So you say. Listen, Rab Nesbitt is nothing if not reliable. If he says he will be a wee take late, but he's not sure how long, then he will be exactly a wee take late, but no sure how long. Take. Oh, just relax. Oh, relax. Look, James, this trip to Italy took a lot of organising. Everything had to be bought and paid for in advance. You're due for the off in five minutes, and that big tube hasn't coughed up with his bonjour yet. Yeah, you were about goodness. Hey, great condition. Only one premium tuna. Ah, how are you going? Leave us alone. I want to buy my mints. I don't know why you bother. How do you know just put your head to one side and let it blow out your ears, eh? <laughs> See that effort there? See that? They're just full of efforts for that. Mutton dressed to spare them. <laughs> Never mind, doll. Well, I'll always have Paris, eh? Ha 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 ha. See that? She got a flight there, you know. I could have really stuck a boot in and tell her she kept a dirty house. I'll tell you this. See this World Cup? You can stuff it. There you are. I don't want it. I don't want it. When you go to, you go to rise above your appetite, don't you? You know. I mean, it's a character test. A character test. In fact, see this? I wouldn't thank you for a ticket to the World Cup. There you are. In fact. See if somebody was to come up to me in the street too and say, Hey Rob, here is a chance of you going to World Cup. I would just say, Da! Da! Where is it? Where is it? There's a chance of you going to the World Cup. Hey! <laughs> well, what the hell are you standing there for? Go on, get yourself up home. Down to the sideboard and hook the passport through the peak frame tin. Go on! Go on! <laughs> see when you get right, don't you? I don't have to talk some amount of key. Sure, do you? <laughs> Catch. Here I'm going to World Cup or I'm no. Look, don't get volatile with me. I'm just a like man here, by the way. You're going to World Cup. It's just that you might have a bit company. No, a kind of travelling companion. What kind of travelling companion? Hey, what kind of travelling companion? Ex football player. Have you heard of Wally Verney, ex Celtic? Uh. Well, meet Matt Verney, ex Villa Levy. Matt? <laughs> <laughs> How is an old bag of bones like that ever going to get to the World Cup? Hey, I mean, look at him. I mean, if he's, if he's balls drop any further, he's going to have to dribble him back him where he's never. Hey, you've got it in, Dad. That's not your travelling companion. Ah, uh, come away and rap. <laughs> have a wee proposition to put to you. No, your travelling companion's the one in the bed. <laughs> Good. You see, Rab, Matt has led a kind of sheltered life. He didn't marry, didn't he drink? I mean, he wasn't hear him scare him like you and me. Look, eh, no offence, pal, but you want me to take your brother to the World Cup, don't you? Why, Eddie? Ah, well, I mean, don't get me wrong, but... Well, judging by appearances, I think he'd be hard push to make it to the World Cup, you know. In fact, I'd be very surprised if he made it through lunch, you know what I mean? Who oh, knows you've got it all round, Rob. Though, Matty doesn't say much, but he takes it all in. <laughs> that right, fly man, you take it all in. What? <laughs> it's a hell of a character, isn't it? <laughs> well, you'll no half miss him when he goes, eh? I'm going to the other catch. Listen, the next time, get yourself a budgie. They're much better company, you know. No, yeah, Rab, no, my brother's an old man that's ripe for the big sleep. Give him this one last fling before he goes. 
Oh, please, friend. Please take me to Italy to the World Cup. There. What else do you want? Do you want us to sit on my hind legs and beg you? <laughs> How can I do it? Hey, how can I risk taking an old crop like that to the World Cup? How do? Andy Roxford is taking Roy Aiken. <laughs> where the hell have you been? Never mind where the hell have I been. Questions, questions. Listen, meet Mark Furney. Mark's brother Dan coughed up the Spondulix to take myself and the wee fella here to tell ya. Yeah, in fact, lucky bastards, how comes? <laughs> Never mind how comes. Just, just shake the man by the horn and I've done with it. Go on. Yeah. Oh, Fenner, have you been abroad before? No, the nearest I've been to the continent is Lark Hall. <laughs> Lark Hall, eh? Rottweiler our country, eh? <laughs> My good. You have a right to him in Italia, eh? Eh? Eh, <laughs> hey, tongue a dog, Scott. Her man, Ella. Hey, Rover, put him back if you think you're ugly. <laughs> I could really near taste that, could you know? Let's go in there with a the right attitude. Exactly. We know we're going to get stuff, so we may as well enjoy what's <laughs> Imagine. A dirty big swally and a game of football to end here. See when you get right in here. What merit does a bloke mean to sustain human life, eh? I don't know about that. A range over 90k a year when you go amiss. Oh, well, let's not get embittered too early, eh? Otherwise, we'll have nothing to look forward to when we get gubbed by Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> look, at Costa Ricans! Carmen Miranda in that, eh? <laughs> what you clapping me, Bamfa? Listen, son, see when you come for govern, you don't get many opportunities in life to patronize people. Am I right, Mark? Oh, you know what, Rab? You're beginning to speak my language. You see, Rab's like me. When you come for govern, you speak straight for a heart. And when you might speak for your heart? You couldn't get through your arteries for the mutton pies and the caramel wafers. You startled me, Rap. Tell him no, he's starting me and I'll not be responsible. All right, Connor, all right, all right, all right. Cool it, cool it. You won't touch one here in that voice. You, you insult me, you insult my family. Right. Remember that. Ah, uh, you tell him, Dad. Oh, you shut it down. <laughs> your gub's too big for your fizzer. Come on, calm down, sell down. Let's sing a wee ditty. Cement international relationships. Uh, Two, three. Sheep, shag, and bumper! <laughs>
You're all right, Bernie, son. You enjoying yourself, eh? The kidding. I'm bored out of my cranium. This is mine. I'm a mine, son. Daddy's here. Watch it. Apologise, it's no your fault. <laughs> that Costa Rica, my ass! He's complaining! I am! I mean, back in Africa, go on, yeah. <laughs> so you like? Well, at least we're good losers, eh? That's the sort of practice we get, you know? Punish that record, yours, but. Oh, man. I'm reading just Johnny's problem page. You're reading that crap for. Because it's personal, right? Just give me some space in my life, will you? I don't go asking you nosy questions about your personal life there. Well, that's because I've no got a personal life, but I... <laughs> my personal life's an open book. All right, Bernie's son. Aye. A tick book. <laughs> You wouldn't give me a back chance to sleep with. <laughs> when's, is a, when's is a great consolation to a man? You take it for me. Well, I need to take it for you, won't I? Can't exactly go in personal experience, can I? There's no need to take it like that. Come on, for goodness sake. Just because you're sterile. <laughs> Just because your life despises you. Just because there's no juice in your cajonies. I was only saying they were, they were a consolation, you know. I didn't say they were any bloody good to you, you know. <laughs> hey, Devo. Is it not about the time you were away back to your billet? Well, I'll go in a minute once old Shuffle Buck drops off to his kit. What are you doing through there, anyway? Oh, what he does every night. Phil's in his diary. At least, I think it's his diary. Could be his last will and testament for all I know. You shouldn't have taken him here. He's no fit for it. He wanted to come, didn't he? He wanted to come. Listen to you, he's got his personal life and you've got yours and everybody's entitled to their own personal lives, right? OK? Son, what's the matter with you anyway? What's the matter? Your face has been tripping you ever since you left Gleska. Can he tell me that? Ah, bugger it, I'll tell you. <laughs> what is it? I think I've got the male menopause. You know that thing blokes get when they're of a certain age? When the magic goes out of their marriage, they start getting traumas and questioning their values and that. I think I've got one. Get them on. Hey, your ass! <laughs> You're big coming! We're big coming! Us. We're big... We don't get things like that. I mean, the big C we get. Heart attacks we get, I mean, by all means, have a heart attack. No. <laughs> because I don't know what's getting into you, Claire. I mean, what is it with you? What is it with you? Hey, versus, versus a fat at kitchen, me, it's a male menopause. <laughs> you're trouble, boy. You're trouble. You're getting ideas out of your bloody station, yeah. Sorry, It's only you, it. I'm trying to get a kipper in here. Shut it, you! Your Uncle James is having a menopause here. <laughs> it's no funny, Rob. Look at me. I'm 45 years old. I've done nothing with my life. I don't want you to wind up with that old dud through the warrior. That old dud played for Mel and Levin. So what? I played for Thurlana. Four games. And it would have been five if my career hadn't been cut prematurely because of this dicky shooter. See, looking back my life, you know, I can get that part of any perspective now. For me, Oh, that was the golden ones. Ah, I mean, I, I hear what you're saying here. I hear what you're saying. I know. I know where you're coming from here. I mean, I have tasted the highs of life annoying. 
I can remember how I felt the day Mary and I qualified for a single payment of the DSS. Thanks for listening, Rob. You could have ripped a piss out of me, but you never. No, no, I respect that big man. Aye. Right? Hey, boy, hey, boy. You've got to look on the bright side to you. Hey, I mean, maybe you're 45 with a menopause, but... Huh? At least you've kept your figure down on you. Can I ask you something? Aye, son, what is it? What the hell do you find to write about? Oh, it's my diary, son. My life. Old men should be explorers. And I want to get it all done in paper before it's too late. I'm 84, you know. Aye, uh, good, but what for? I mean, what's the reason? Oh, no reason. It just helps a typical joke like me to put football in its place. After all, when the World Cup's been won and the cheering's all stopped and the teams have all gone home, these words will still be here on this paper. When that ramen next door has melted into memory, my thoughts will still be here to be read. <laughs> For me, that's reason enough. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be all right. Tell you one thing. See me. I'm a I'm a typical Glaswegian, by the way. All right, moaning face, negative bastard. <laughs> I mean, it's no your fault, you understand? It's no your fault. You know who I blame? You know who I blame? The weather. I mean, see in Glasgow, we get a wee blink of sun every now and again, poking out for between the drizzle, you know. Just enough warmth to tempt you to, to trust life again. And then, whap! Just as soon as the hood's off your parka, <laughs> down comes a torn piss. <laughs> Hams every time. I mean, see if we lived here, in this place, in this climate, we'd be a different bloody breed or together, you know what I mean? Uh, I mean, take this heifer here, look at it. Hey, eh? old shuffle ass here. <laughs> Scotland's finest. I mean, you can just. You can just picture it, can you? You can just picture it wandering about Safeways with its wee slither of cheese and its four hundred with a pick and mix and a wee string bag. Nobody able to walk above a shuffle because its pension dosh has shoved up its ass for fear it gets mugged outside the school and its way home, you know? <laughs> I mean, I bet I bet the high spot of Russian's life is reading the death column in the evening times out at Stew, you know? Eh, <laughs> uh, hombre! Hey, you're nothing but a waste of ozone. Here, leave me alone. Oh, Who Sam, sell it. It's only me, it's only me. Give me a Oh, don't soft your lungs up onto the pavement either. See, we a cop like that. You should be away back to your scratcher, boy. Certainly not. My time is precious. I'm taking a taxi into town. Then I'll walk to Via Garibaldi and into Palazzo Doria Tursi to see among other treasures, Paganini's violin. <laughs> and what about you, Rob? How will you be spending your day? Uh, well, I maybe thought I'd uh, have a pizza myself. A pizza? In Italy? My, you're full of ideas. <laughs> well, if you'll excuse me, some of us have some living to do. Oh, taxi! That's a great thing about football, eh, James? It gives you a chance to relax, to forget all your worries. Forget your worries? What the hell are you talking about? You're not here to enjoy yourself. You're here to support Scotland. Tell him that. 
Oh, keep my cranium, you will you, for God's sake. You're still wound up just because we get gobbed by Costa Rica. Funny stop saying that. Because every time you do, I lose two inches off my manhood. Two inches? Your digger must be halfway up your colon below. <laughs> Tell him that I'll be starting again. He's starting. That's it. Stir it up, Stir it up. That's it. Finish. Finish it Come on. Let's have a wee post Costa Rica checklist here. Make sure we've got all our necessities. Right, OK, go ahead, Rab. Shoot. Spearmint chewing gum, macaroon bath. Yeah. Check. Shoulder to cry on. Check. Scapegoat. Check. Seems to be another. Wait, they're Swedes. Bastard, I'll punch his legs. No, 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 I don't know, I'm not going to eat that point. Get a hunt, Perry, start flinging. Hey, there, boys! Pop your jaws in your hair, yeah, eh? Hey. Oh! Oh! Woo! And this steward wears your trousers! Hey, oh, man! Oh. Bergwini! Ni bola! Abba! A wee cocky coli, man. Hey, stay up past your bedtime tonight. Seeing as how we gubbed the Swedes, eh? Oh, no thanks, Rab. It's been a smashing day, but uh, now I'm tired. Uh, in fact, I think I'll, I'll, I'll await to my bed. <laughs> Good night, boys. Uh, Good night, man. Hey. He's a game old bastard, that, isn't he? Hey. I mean, he can't even draw breath, but by God. He's not going to let it like him, you know. And you got to admire that, haven't you? Nah. Oh, that makes you feel humble. God. Oh, God almighty! What the hell's the matter with you now? It's that game of night, Rab. It's good to me. It's just brought it all back to me. I mean, that could have been me out there in Eel Park or all. Playing for Scotland. If it hadn't been for this bloody well gammy shooter, I. <laughs> tell me, is your shooter getting you better than you? No. Not at this precise moment. No. I'll get your horn in your pocket, because it's your round. <laughs> Louis, you just keep back from the gate, OK? Bunny beat it! I was here first! Hey, look! That's the alley! The alley! Aiden Paul. Yes? Hey, I just wonder, I know you're a busy man, but I'm just wondering if there's a wee chance that you could maybe put in a good word for me, like, you know? Just a man to have a wee blether with Andy Roxburgh. Meet Mr. Roxburgh? I hardly think so. I know, no, it's just that I want to congratulate him on the Sweden game, you know? I mean, the team are push, but at least they got stuck in like cycles, eh? Look, Mr. Roxburgh's a very busy man. He can't go making himself available to every Tom, Dick and, and Tartan Army foot soldier who happens by. No, no, I don't understand. I know Andy. I know my uh, beast of play together, you know? I nutmegged them twice. That's when the Jags were playing a high highs. Yeah, special nickname for me. That wee bastard. That's what he's doing. Look, you're not meeting Mr. Roxburgh in that's final. Now, would you move along? You're cluttering up the hotel entrance. Ah, go on, Paul. Go on, he please. Let's have a word. Watch your body, please. Watch your body, watch your body. Hey, come on, Clark. For God's sake. You're just making a bloody nuisance yourself. Do what a man tells you. 
Yeah, hell of a story about that, pal. He's actually having a wee bit of trouble with his menopause at the minute. And the Costa Rica game turned it kind of chronic, shall I tell you, you know what I mean? Well, I wish he'd shove off and have it somewhere else. That goes for you and the rest of your rabble, too. You'll be giving the Scots a bad name. Who the hell are you talking to, you wee shink plug that you are? <laughs> Don't you get above yourself, boy? Don't you get above yourself? I mean, I'm not like him. I mean, he's, he's looking for something happy, so he's obliged to run his tongue round the rim of your Archibald. But I don't want nothing for you. Nothing, you understand me? All right, there's no need to take that attitude. I'll take whatever the hell bloody attitude I like, pal. Fuck me. Come on, let's get here. I'm going to lose my temper here. All right, All right, I'll tell you this, boy. I'll tell you this. See, people like you, see, people like you. You get right up my jillops. You get right up my jillops. <laughs> you don't know when you're bloody well well off. She people us, she people us, Scottish fans, they're the best bloody football fans in the whole world. There you are, boy, there you are. Thick as shit and bottomless watch. And you just watch yourself, boy. You just watch. If we started, if we started thinking about this bloody game, because people like you will be standing in wee booths flogging tickets for national bloody car parks. <laughs> eat my face, boy. Just you get out my face. There you are. I don't want nothing for you. Nothing, there you are, nothing. And by the way, have you got any spare tickets for the Brazil game? As a matter of fact, I have, but you are most certainly not getting Good, because I will tell you this, boy. For once in my life, I don't bloody well need them. Go get it right up here, you wee hush puppy hell of a year. <laughs> Oh, what's the matter, James? Could you not get into the hotel? What do you think? They should have mentioned my name. I'll tell you one thing. You're not going to spoil it for me, no matter what they say. This football's the greatest game in the world. It's the international language of brotherhood and friendship. All right. All right. All right. All right. A man to man. The whole world there. So brothers be. No that. No that. No. No. Volete giocare con noi? Is that Tally calling me a poof? He's asking us if we want a game of football. You want for a wee dog that, eh? Uh, me and all. Oh, I see. Any problem? Hey, amigos! All of us, amigos, eh? Hey, hey. Okay, hey! Very good! Amigos! Amigos! Oh, right, the one that's... Right, let's get nipped right into the post renaissance and that was OK. <laughs> right. To remember us as a friendly, right? So internal injuries only. <laughs> I want to see Scottish football here. I want to see arrogant football. So let's show him some of that Glasgow garlicness, okay? Hey, right, Rab. Position see us arguing amongst ourselves. There's no argument about it, Cotter. You are an ass. <laughs> hey, was it just my fault? Where was my defence? Your defence? You need to plead insanity after the next <laughs> Right, that's it. I've had enough of your jibes and your taunts. You've got my maddie up now. Hey, let me ask you. Gaze that ball.
Now, if any of you bastards laugh, I'll kill you. Right. That was a definite smack. You're clean. Hey, hey, Ella, Ella, it's it's Rob, Ella. Ah, 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 what's your name, Ella? You're not, you're not gonna believe this. Cause you're laughing, I tell you, but James has been left up in a polis. Ella, Ella. I think she took it quite well, you know. <laughs> this you wait for you. See? Very nice of you, eh? Oh, this your Wainzos? Wainzos? <laughs> Me no go Wainzos. But, eh, This, me on you, three-piece sweeto. Sweeto, eh? Ah, this me on barbecue set. Barbecue seto. And uh, that <laughs> me all right feel. You just lied down in your tummy, James, eh? Okay, Ella. Oh. Oh, oh. Ah. Oh. Mm. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh. Mm. Is your shooter any better yet? A wee bit, you know. <laughs> It'll be all the better for your familiar magic touch. Mm. Oh, Ella, I'm not going to forget this, no? No, Jamesy. I'll make damn sure of that. <laughs> If you get the chance, you might like to swivel that shugly shooter of yours rune to pick up this. Oh. It's a solicitor's letter. Huh? A flying for a legal separation. Oh. <laughs> you might like to consult one yourself. Uh. Once you've recovered the power of speech, that is. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Cor. You're an evil bosom, sweetheart. Get it right, oh. pal. You're not talking to Mrs. Cotter. You're speaking to Ms. Wilson now. Ciao. <laughs> Here you are, Matthew. The joys of married life. I bet you're glad you passed that, you know. Oh, I don't know, son. A punch in the mouth is still a form of human contact. <laughs> There's still a lot to be said for it. <coughs> if that makes any kind of sense. It does not, but it sounds suitably profound. Now, come on, get hip. We'll be late for the game. Presto, presto! Son, Bernie, I don't think I'll go to the game today. I'm, I'm feeling a wee tight no wheel. You're not allowed to feel no wheel. It's Brazil! Are you shamming, you old bam? No, no. <laughs> I'm no shaman, sir. Are you sure? <coughs> oh, all right, all right. A doctor's line would have done. <laughs> it's my doctor! Who are you looking like that for? Cheer your fissure up, for God's sake. I can't help it, Dad. Do you think you'll croak? No. He is not going to croak. It's, it's just, it's just a wee nosebleed. Except it's coming for his lungs, that's all. Chico, <laughs> come here! Chareca, animal, bebeto, Romario! Alexander Fleming, you bastard! <laughs> I'm sorry about this, Rob. I'm hell of a sorry. I didn't want you to miss the Brazil game. Oh, never mind the Brazil game. Bugger the Brazil game. I mean, yeah. well, we're only booked in here for a week anyway. Scotland never ever get by the first round, do they? Hey, never ever. 
I'm just sorry that I'll not be around to see you growing up, son. Cut the key, Cotter. Aye, Sally. I can't know you. Keep two or three days and you'll be in there getting at the creeping games, begging her to have you back. See you. You're wrong, Rab. You're wrong there. Three minutes, Merle. <laughs> Stay here, son. Daddy's got a wee message, all right? It's not like that. Stone a boot and bump in each other and sting your piss. I'm not even, son. Some of my best friends are like that. He's gravely unwell. Hey, good, that's right, Pearson, and say, eh? He's a witch doctor. Well, Rab, have you the day's paper? The paper? What, 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 what? I need to know. Need to know? No, no, what? How Scotland got on against Brazil. You mean you haven't heard? <laughs> we scudded them. We scudded them. Three nine. Three nothing. You see, Dan, I tell you. Oh, he and that little. But, oh, but. <laughs> His was a small one. In many ways, a testament to the age-old Scottish failings of lack of confidence and wasted opportunity. His day, historically, was long now. But now, thankfully, a new breed of Scotsmen everywhere now. But let us not be too hard in our condemnation. For let's face it, we can't all be Wallace Nelson, can we? We all miss her. That was a, a very nice operation. I hope you feel a hell of a lot better after your operation. What operation? Have a poker removed your arse. <laughs> Oh, very best. Very best, yes, sir. Well, seeing I'm scum, innit? <laughs> I mean, anybody with any real class would never have come back. After an exit line like that, you know. I always think it's rather a sad character fault, needing to have the last word. The last word? Oh, I didn't get the last word, pal. No, no. Look, you get the last word. There you are. <laughs> Give me a pair of myself. <laughs> <laughs> 